well it's important because Chile has like this so a lot of people in South America call Chile like the backyard of the states and in, in a way it's it's a little true because I've heard it called it's the England of New of Latin America yeah yeah you could, I, I don't personally believe that 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 is like a compliment or something like that but it's true you know <clears throat> uh, Chile Chile had a, like a cultural block for 20 years so it, in the difference like it was like the, the, the most lasting uh, dictatorship in the whole South America it was the, 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 the one that lasted longer and in that time uh, there wasn't <coughs> the, the culture the, like the music the culture poetry arts the stuff that, that was really really good developed in, well developed in Chile before the the, the, the coup you no know? Uh, like stop, stop working. They killed Victor Jara, uh, Pablo, Pablo Neruda, Neruda died. Yeah. So there's a lot of a lot of people say wait, when they come to, to Chile, they come oh this place is like this, a, a little this little states, you know. <laughs> you, we have like a lot of McDonald's. Everybody speak English. For me, it was different, you know. Learning, growing up, um, I, I learned English by myself. They didn't tell me in school. But main, mainly because uh, I, I like to watch movies and I like a lot of <coughs> English spoken music, like play, playing video games and all stuff like that. I, I learned it by myself. But tourism in Chile is also it's also like a big big part of the economy. You know, Chile has a, like a lot of different sites to see, mainly nature and stuff like that. But Chile is uh, I think Chile is uh, really it's becoming more and more like. Uh, a tourist place, a tourist, a really, really good destination for tourism in the world. Uh, first, because here they want to be like United States. Is it true? So, for a half that life, the people have to go there, study there, live there, learn there, and maybe, maybe, come back and try to teach the thing that they learn there. And you have to know other language for do that. And if you don't want to go to United States and you want to go to Australia or London, you have to know English. So that is very important here. Actually, along no, when I was uh, like 10 years, the language here was the French, actually. My grand, my mom, learn French here. Yeah. The schools was French the language more important. Sí, aquí se hablaba francés antes, se aprendía francés en los colegios. So, when I was... Why, why was French important? Porque, él me pregunta, ¿por qué era importante el francés aquí? Yo creo que porque muchas... Estaba... No estoy tan segura. Porque... I don't know why it was important, but... For example, my mom learned French in the school. But... When I was uh, in Quinto, Quinto is the moment that you can learn one language here. But a long time ago, I tell you. So in that moment, when I have to learn French, the things change, and, and then I have to learn English mm. when I was 10. But I don't know why. The, the, the teacher that they learn French, and then that time they have to... Uh, teach English, so my my teacher was the same teacher from my mom, yeah. for example. Yeah. I didn't know that. Ingleses de Sudamérica. Sí, sí, somos los ingleses de Sudamérica. Sí, por ejemplo, en Argentina, esta se dice hall. Nosotros decimos hall. Por qué eso? Es un mito, es un todo el mundo desde que uno tiene uso razón que conoce que uno es el inglés, pero el chileno no es inglés porque es inglés. Dice a las 5 de la tarde, salta y a las 5 está. 
8 de la mañana a las 8 está en punto el chileno, no, 8, 10, 8, 20. Pero nos creemos porque somos más, más formales. ¿Entiendes? Sí. En la Argentina, en Bolivia, en Perú andan más abiertos, ¿no? ¿Sí o no? No usan corbata y muy. ¿Sí o no? Sí, sí. Por eso. Here's one that both of you could actually answer. Why is learning English so important in Chile? Yeah, ¿por qué? Porque es muy importante para para Chile. Well, for business, it is all because my vecino, ¿cómo se dice? No, no. My neighbor. My neighbor speaks the same language like me. Colombian guys speak the same language. El libre comercio también. Más que los chilenos hablan inglés, pero entonces, argentinos o colombianos. Yeah, no, for travel, normally it is not necessary. In my hair because I can communicate. We have the different accents, but I can I can communicate very well. Yeah. So, but for business, it is different because in Chile we have the free trade mm -hmm. with our, a lot of countries. We have free trade with many countries and we have commerce with many. It's not an economy closed. It's an economy open. And we have to generate economic trade with Asian countries, with the United States, with Europe. Y ahí es importante el inglés. Creo que for business is so important. Sí. For the social life. <laughs> yeah, maybe, but not a lot. Like Spanish is more important than English here. Sí. Yeah. Es importante porque nos abre el mundo. Nosotros estamos al final de Sudamérica. Somos una parte que estamos muy lejos del mundo en general. Entonces, por lo mismo, nos ayuda a abrirnos open mind de, de mente eh, aparte que acá en Pucón viene mucho extranjero mucho estadounidenses como ustedes viene harto europeo entonces para nosotros es muy importante el, el tema del inglés que es una lengua universal entre comillas mm -hmm.